the World Cup is just around the corner and we are going to predict who's going to win by using Football Manager 23. We have done 50 simulations. We've done a point system for the group stages and then we're going to do a head to head for the knockouts. Who do you think is going to win for World Cup? Let me know in the comment section below. Can we see how real will that data within Football Manager can it predict the winner of this World Cup? Well, let's go find out. Right, so I've gone to the FIFA.com website and I will leave a link and you can put in what you think for how it might go through. And again, let me know in the comment section. I'd be very intrigued to see if everyone else gets the same result that we get today. So we're going to start off with Group A. We've got Qatar, Senegal, Ecuador and Netherlands. Netherlands is going to win for Group. Then it's going to be Ecuador in second place, Senegal in third place and then Qatar bottom. So you get one point for getting second round, two points for quarterfinals, three points for semi-finals, four points for being runners-up, and you get five points for winner. I didn't do any third place. I just thought, you know what, keep it simple. Five points across the board. So now that gives you a bit more information of what we did, let's continue into Group B and finish these groups. Group B, England top, USA second, Wales third, and Iran fourth. And then we go into Group C. Argentina wins. Poland comes in second. Not far behind, Mexico comes in third, and then Saudi Arabia comes bottom. Qatar got zero points, Saudi Arabia got zero points. They're for only two teams who did not get through to their second round. Group D, no surprise, France to come top, and then Denmark, and then Australia gets third, and Tunisia comes bottom of the group. I think that one's going to be tight, third and fourth. Now moving on to the last four groups, Group Let's have a look. Germany, Spain. Now, who came top of the group? Germany, Spain. And it's Spain, Germany, Japan, and then Costa Rica. Group F. You would think that it's Belgium, but in our simulations, Croatia got the most points compared to Belgium. So Belgium gets second. And then Morocco comes in third with Canada fourth. Morocco, in one of the simulations, got runners up. That was their best ever finish. Group G, probably no surprises here. Brazil, Switzerland, Serbia, Cameroon coming bottom. And then in Group G, we have Portugal coming top, Uruguay, Ghana, and then South Korea or Korea Republic down at the bottom there. Now, Uruguay being out of the top 10, they won for World Cup on one occasion. So knockout stage. Here we go. Holland, Netherlands versus USA. Netherlands wins that one. 18 wins versus USA's nine. So that means they met each other 27 times in 50 cent simulations. Then we have Argentina versus Denmark. Argentina go through with 13 wins versus Denmark's eight. Total meetups 21 out of 50. Then Spain versus Belgium. Spain wins that one 12 4 absolutely battered it they met each other 16 times out of 50 then we have brazil uruguay this one was really close brazil nicks it seven wins to uruguay's four wow very very close and then we move down to the next bit of the tree so we start off with england versus ecuador and england wins that 22 wins versus ecuador's one absolute domination and then we have france versus poland no surprises here france wins this one 16 wins to poland six meaning they played each other 22 times out of 50 that's leaving big 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 quarterfinal england versus france Croatia versus Germany. Germany nicks this one very, very close. Germany won eight. Croatia won six times, meaning Germany goes through. Portugal, Switzerland. Who's going to meet Germany in the quarterfinals? And it is Portugal. Portugal won 13 times versus Switzerland's five, meaning they played each other 18 times out of 50 simulations head to head. To start off with Netherlands versus Argentina. And you would expect this to be really close head to head but no Holland won it eight times Argentina only got two so they played each other 10 times and Netherlands got 80% of those wins meaning Netherlands is our first semi-finalists then we go to Spain versus Brazil Spain on points got 115 points and Brazil only got 93 but head to head and this is where for head to head changes things Brazil won seven wins 
Spain got four. So they played each other 11 times out for 50. And don't forget, when it goes to second round, quarterfinals, semifinals and final, it obviously shrinks down for possibilities of each other playing. For them to play each other 11 times still within this format, it's still quite high and it's quite good to give us a nice number. So that means it's going to be a Netherlands versus Brazil semi-final to all you england fans out there it's bad news despite england getting top of the points and winning for world cup 13 times out for 50 and runners up eight times but france go through they went head to head versus each other 27 times now that is a huge number considering they don't play each other in group stage they didn't play each other in the second round there was quarterfinals and there was finals between these two teams and france nicked it by one and it's so tight 14 13 i mean i was actually expecting it to be a draw and then obviously if it's a draw it goes down to points and england would have went through but it was going up and down when i was compiling for data to get this head to head it was one minute england was pulling away then france was pulling away and then it was so tight till for end you could do two predictions here england could have went through or france could go through and then you could work out who's going to win it on that but we didn't do that. We're only doing one prediction based on the data that I have. Points, group stage, head-to-head, -head, knockout. So let's go to our last quarterfinal, Germany versus Portugal. They only played each other three times out of 50 and Portugal nicked it. Portugal beat Germany two times and Germany won once. Now again, is that enough data to go on? Maybe, maybe. But if I played this 100 times, it could have just been for fact that Portugal beat Germany four times and Germany won two. So at our semi-finals, we have France versus Portugal and then Netherlands versus Brazil. So still Cristiano Ronaldo can win for World Cup in his career. Obviously, it's all over for Messi. Netherlands versus Brazil. They played each other five times and the Netherlands nicked it. Three wins to Brazil's two. So we have our first finalist and that is the Netherlands. Our second semi-final, France versus Portugal. They played each other 10 times. France absolutely dominated it with seven wins versus Portugal's three. I don't see a third place here. So I'll just tell you it was Brazil versus Portugal. And they played each other 19 times across 50 simulations. Portugal won it, beat Brazil for third place. And now we go into the final at the Lucelle Stadium. Who is going to win it? They played each other three times. Can you guess? Can you guess? Are we going to go for, for favourite France with the points or are we going to go Netherlands based on head-to-head? -head? Remember, there has been teams knocked out. I mean, France beat England. England had the most points out of anyone and France beat England by one. It's going to be that tight. They only played each other three times in 50 simulations. Who's going to win it? It's uh, France. <laughs> they won it three times versus Netherlands zilch. So there we have it. Football Manager 23 has predicted our World Cup winner, France. So this is our data sheet. And as you can see, these are for head to heads uh, that we did. And as you can see, France has won it. They came second in the points. And uh, yeah, and then you can go across and see how everyone's performed. And then we can scroll all the way across. And if we zoom out for a minute, look at this pattern, how it's kind of formed across the 50 simulations. And you kind of got this yellow. And as you can see, it kind of goes down, gives someone outside of the area a chance. So the first one was Argentina and then it goes back up to around the top area. They won a few times, had a little dip back up, dip down again. And then we got a bit of an outsider win it, Uruguay. And then it goes back up to the top area again, stays up there for a bit, gives France, England, Spain their wins. And then it drops back down again to, I think that's Argentina that time. Yeah, Argentina. So they've won it twice there. And then it goes back up again, floats around here, not as long as uh, previous ones. And then it starts dropping down again. And that time, Denmark won it. And just look at the winner's table. So first, let's look at the runners-up. Netherlands came runners-up 
12 times, Spain 11, England 8, France 4. Any outside teams, Morocco, as I said before, they uh, they came runners up once. Then if we look at for winner count, England, France, both joint near with 13. That's why that quarter final was so close. Portugal wins it five times, Brazil 4, Spain 3. USA won it three times. When, it, when USA popped up first time, they actually beat England in the final. There you go, England runners up and then they beat England again and again so every time USA won for World Cup they beat England crazy and then Germany won it twice with Switzerland Argentina Netherlands and Denmark won it Denmark won it on that 49th simulation and then obviously Uruguay got one too so this is for individual goal scoring chart and as you can see Mbappe wins for golden boot but only by four goals 190 goals Mbappe and Lewandowski 186 very close so when I put my bet on that France is going to win it Mbappe be golden boot let's see if there's any shockers here maybe some players that you might want to sign in football manager Depay 136 I know that he becomes available in the first season from Barcelona maybe he could be a good little sign in Kane uh, Valencia from Ecuador Ronaldo's up there 102 goals Jimenez Diaz uh, on 53 Nunes and Embolo make up our top 10 any names outside it? Neymar here We've got 28 goals. Messi got only 16 for Messi. Even Johnson for Wales got 17. Got above Messi. Amazing. I have scouted some of these players in football manager. So it's popping up like Hadji Wright. You were saying like, ooh, maybe that four Premiership team. Maybe a lower team. I mean, I was Tottenham when I was going, and his stats didn't come back that great. So who was highest scoring nation then? And there we have it. We got France and then England. But France miles ahead, 264 goals. And then England, 219. Netherlands, 205. Poland on 195. So Lewandowski really pushed Poland up there, being in the top four. Well, right, that's all we have time for. France wins Qatar 2022 World Cup, predicted by Football Manager 23. Let me know your thoughts on this video. Is France going to be the team or have you got a different? view leave it in the comment section thank you for watching new to my channel check this out